thousands of people responded to the call by the opposition to take to the streets. They're calling for freedom, and they want Venezuela security forces to join their fight to end the presidency of Nicolás Maduro. We are using what they are throwing at us to continue with our protest. We want an end to the usurper and demand freedom. The usurper they talk about is Nicolás Maduro, who was sworn in for another six-year term earlier this month. Juan Guaidó is the man that challenges his legitimacy. He's the president of the National Assembly, a powerless opposition-controlled body that has proclaimed him the country's interim president. I swear to assume the powers of the national executive as the interim president of Venezuela, to secure an end to the usurpation and treasonous government, and to have free elections. If it is to be, let God and country reward us, and if not, let God and country demand it. On Wednesday, Guaidó's claim to office was recognized by U.S. President Donald Trump and several other leaders in the region, who regard Nicolás Maduro a dictator. He still controls the military and the country's main institutions. Nicolás Maduro accused the United States of promoting a coup to take control of Venezuela's oil reserves, considered to be the largest in the world. En cumplimiento de mis funciones. In fulfilling my duties to which I swore before the people to respect and be respected, and for the independence, sovereignty and the peace of the Republic, I've decided to break diplomatic and political relations with the imperialist government of the United States. Those on the streets say they're tired of an economic crisis that has forced millions of people to flee the country. Venezuela's National Guard used tear gas and rubber-coated bullets to disperse them. The United Nations is asking both the government and the opposition to de-escalate the situation and agree on a dialogue. But those who oppose the government say the time for talk is over. They want solutions to the problems millions of people in Venezuela face every day and have stopped believing Nicolás Maduro has the answers to resolve them. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera.